Hey everybody, it's PC here, and welcome to another episode of Automation Empire. And I've been uh, w watching things here and uh, noticed a few things. Uh, one, we're getting a lot of backup here. Uh, the claw is not doing much, but that was just more or less a test. I've been uh, messing around with the stops too. Apparently, you only need one of them there because it's going to continue on to the end of the rail. So, as soon as one of the claws pass over the pickup or the drop off, it'll do its thing and then it'll continue on so any, any other claws will tr get triggered by that as well and so I've just been letting this go uh, also too I've been looking at the crate makers apparently they're they can only have 30 crates that they produce in the world at a time as it says right here uh, they have to be sold or destroyed before I can make any more so Right now, this isn't too bad. This is 20. This one is at 26, which is a, doesn't matter because it's just all backlogged right now because the drones are not doing much. Uh, but I'm going to start getting some of these claws in, as you see, with a fair bit of money. So I'm going to pause things here just to make sure things don't get out of control. Now, I want to try something here. I want to see if... If I can get a claw to deliver to two separate conveyors. So let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit here. I'll sell a few of these because we don't really need them. And I'll put a door on here too because the conveyor's got to go in. Not the conveyor, the claw. So we'll do that. We will put a couple more of these step conveyors in. Like so. And then... Yes, a load station. Uh, I have to, you have to double click every time because you can click it, uh, click once and then draw a line. Uh, it is turned off, so that's good. I'm gonna turn this off too, and that just means that the drones will not actually pick it up. All right, so let's go to the claw. Let's start with the claw track, and let's actually see where we're building here. Be nice if you could actually see it on top of the thing and yes I forgot we can click and drag so we'll go there oh that's not what I wanted to do I think I probably could have actually done it in there but I didn't because I'm an idiot oh I hit the wrong button wrong button BC you know me Alright, so I'm going to go right across like so. Now I'll go to... Uh, I'll do a pickup sta station here. Now I'm placing it here and not here. Because they're both going to pass over that. And then I'll do a drop off. There and... There. Which means... I actually do have to place one more rail here. Because uh, the first one's going to drop off here. The first one is going to be hitting this one first. And if it comes to the end of the track, then it's not going to go any further for the second one to go across. Alright, that is that. Let me go here, go by two claws, and let that go. And that should get that worked out. Then another thing I want to do too, and I want to keep this paused for now, is I want to be able to actually get it outputted. Let's say a drop off area where the drones can pick it up. So the drones aren't going back and forth all the time, they just stay right where the trucks are. So I want to uh, unload station here. And yeah, we'll actually just do something like that. And then I will get another claw to go and pick up from here. So then we'll go to the claw area, rotate that, uh, yeah, I am going to go one extra across, just to make sure that that does get picked up, if you know what I mean, I'm going to pick up, oh yeah, uh, I forgot, we need a door. Neodora. I, I must have had one there already, did I not? Oh, that's not what I want to do. I did. I must have thought ahead on that one. Okay, uh, yeah, we gotta, hang on, we gotta select the 
warehouse. Let me go back to here. I want to start with the bend. And go to there. Do another bend. Come to here. I hit the wrong button. Uh, I'm trying to hit W and I hit Q and Q and E actually cycle through the menu. Now, fortunately, this clod does actually go pretty far, fast, so should not have an issue. Oh, I did it again. Hotkeys, gotta love them. Okay, so then one and two. Then we go here to do it drop off there oh I actually need one more okay and then we, then we want two pickups we want one pickup there and one pickup there now that that's done we can turn this off drones do not touch that or that or that or that but they do pick up this and they're going to actually unload the trucks, just like that. Add two claws, and see if we can do the same thing over here. And I think maybe we'll turn this one off for that. Well, no, because the truck's still going to be showing up. I think I'll do something to small, demolish it, just so I don't get the trucks in here. Well, I want the trucks, but not right now. Still don't know how I managed to do that. That's something else. Okay, and then over here, I think I'll just have one unload area here. Yeah. Two about there. One more. And that way the drones can go in there. Now we got to go ahead and uh, put another door in. That will make us symmetrical. Why not? We got money. We can afford it. Okay. And that's actually got to come in this side here. We're gonna end up doing the same thing here. Let's actually get rid of a few of these, and then get a little more of a overhead view so I can actually see what I'm doing a little bit better. Speaking of which, nope. I'm going to put another door in here. Okay. What would be nice if you were actually able to see where you put the doors. Okay, so we start here. I'll go to there. Oh. Now over rotate. And place rotate and then like so okay I want pick up and drop off and just that simple yeah it's like I know what I'm doing okay let's open that up again turn you off you off uh, you are turned off and now it's a matter of dealing with this Cool. You can actually blow up the drones. Uh, for science purposes, we have to test this. Did that actually get me money back? Oh yeah, it did. I like the little explosion. Kind of funny. Okay. Anyway, enough blowing up drones. Let's get our rail in here. And then this one should be fairly simple. Very simple. Okay, and then the same thing, we drop off there. We do two pickups, one there, one there. And that should be it. Priority off on that, priority off on that. Add two claws, and I think that should be it. So now the drone, all the drones have to do is actually load up the trucks. If they're smart. Again, it would be nice if these would actually stay in the area. Because now this truck's not going to go anywhere. Okay. 
I'm almost tempted to... Oh, here comes the flock for two boxes. Just for the sake of it, I want to try something here. I want to see if you can actually build the rail in like a U-shape over the truck. You can't. You can only get to directly down the center. That's a shame. Yeah, definitely, uh, as I mentioned in the last video, prioritization of the drones would be nice. And we have some research. Let's claim it, shall we? And that we did. So what do I have? Uh, 20,000. Uh, what can I actually we, uh, we do here? Uh, not much. It's all expensive. All expensive. And, uh, next research. Uh, it's going to be a little ways yet. Might want to try to get into the waterworks soon so we can start uh, increasing our machines. It's only 30%, but 30% is better than nothing, right? So we got money coming in. How's our numbers doing? 1600 yeah, because I just started. All right, so the next one is going to be start looking for gold. Is that thing not picking up? Okay, I want to make sure it did. Make sure these are both running. Oh, they're not. This one's getting it all first. Hmm. It's an interesting one. No way to speed that up. Uh, not that it matters, the truck's not even here and we're getting backlog anyways. And there's no drones to be found. Go figure. Okay. Uh, let me check something here. Okay, here's what we're going to do, actually. Uh, I'm looking at the, the, uh, the research unlocks here. Uh, as you can see, for the waterworks, we need to have gold and... Was that 11,000 kilos a month? That's a, a lot, but we're gonna speed things up. I was looking at this one here, and this one we're, we're getting close to it. Like, I don't know what our numbers are. I could probably get another road in here or something. Uh, do something about these drones. They're all hanging around on coffee break or something. Nobody's over here, which is kind of stupid. Priority high. Priority high. I don't know. And this is where most of the charger, charging bays are. But anyways, um, yeah, so we got to have a certain amount of coal in our research bay, which I'm going to do. But we need 150,000 research for that, which is okay. Because we also need to get into gold. Now, gold we can research as well. So what we're going to do is we actually do have gold over here. As soon as I get over here. What we'll do is we'll start just researching it right right away. All right, so let's go ahead and place a couple of. Let's actually put two rigs down. Actually, yeah, that's not going to line up, is it? Uh, I was going to see if I could pipe two of them into one. Must have another research dome in proximity. Really? Well, that changes my that plan. And how do I... How did I build that one, though? Hmm. I'm going to figure something out here. Okay, I think I got to figure it out. It's these two parts I never actually looked at. Uh, these things here actually, as you see, load up, load or unload minecarts. So we're actually going to get some minecarts going. I uh, don't think I needed three, three of those uh, rigs, but whatever, I can always sell them. So we do have to place another research bay over here. Uh, it does have to be in vicinity for some reason or another, I don't know. Try to keep it symmetrical. But not, not touching. And of course, uh, that needs power. Okay, we'll do that. Oh, yeah. I forgot it 
tethers and maintains its length. So all you can do like this and just cl spam click it. So much easier than trying to make sure that it actually connects. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll go in there and we'll actually sell that one for now. All right, now for the minecarts. Uh, actually, let's uh, get the yeah this one here, the extraction one. So let's zoom in and have a look at this thing. And of course, the arrow points the direction we go. We do that, and then uh, that's the wrong track. And now it's just a matter of getting us all the way back. Now, it also said something too about um, elevated tracks seem to run faster. So I'm going to actually try that. Let's go. That's not what I want. That's what I want. See how expensive this is going to be. It doesn't matter. I got the money. Okay. Height 2. And then we'll continue all the way along. And we'll get to here. Take another ramp. Bring it back down like so. And... that there and I think that's it I placed that wrong hmm engineering error on this one uh, there we go I know what I'm doing at least I think I do Keep that in line like that. Go back down to one. And uh, in case you're wondering, this is actually the first time I've ever used these things. So, yeah. Add a cart. Alright, let's uh, watch this thing in action. Too bad we can't follow it. That actually goes pretty quick. I'm wondering if it would be better to have it a line and pass through it or uh, underneath it because I think it's only going to take one kilo at a time yeah, it's got two big $13,000 power bill just came out oh yeah one of the unlocks here I'm looking at this one here and it actually has a truck loader uh, I should have said that earlier but that's the case Oh, you don't have power. Didn't connect for some reason. Okay, so it actually took two. Which should get us... Let's see how much research we get for the gold. Because we're getting... Just under a thousand for the coal. We're getting just over a thousand for the gold. So it's good, but we have to have a hundred in the research bay to un actually unlock that stuff. Same with this. I gotta have 25,000, 25 coal in there plus 150 grand research to do that. But we're actually gonna be researching that or taking that research. And of course, we have trucks just sitting there waiting. How much is that drone speed upgrade? A hundred thousand. Oh, that's expensive. Hmm. At least this, this does going a lot, a lot better, except for my little mix up here. Well, at least the drones are doing their job. You stand around and wait for the truck, is what they do. Uh, I might have to speed up the truck time. Got 19,000 research there. Uh, I'm going to go AFK for a minute or so, and then we'll we'll get this truck upgrade. And then in the meantime, I'll see, think about what what's going on here. Oh, 
nothing to research. I'll think about what we're going to do with the road situation here. Okay, so things are sort of working out a little bit better. I put another truck stop here, and now the drones seem to be standing around with a box waiting for a truck. So that is good. Money is coming through. I've been thinking about the whole research situation. I think what we're going to do... Uh, we'll leave this running. We'll actually make some money while we do this. I'm going to go ahead and sell this. And we're going to have it load into station into this side instead. Because what I want to do is I want to get a couple more carts on there and use it as you utilize the other miner that I have out there that's mining that's not actually doing anything. And what I want to do, well, I should start with this with the, the intake tube. Place that there. It's a good thing I place that there because I was going to put the mine cart track in the wrong spot. And we'll start here. And okay, so it's going to be there. And I have three carts, so I want to make sure that we have the three. At least that's what I think. I'm just going by uh, my own possible speculations here. All right, connect that to there. Now it should automatically unload when it hits there. And continue. Yes, it does. Let me go back over here. And I wish there was a fast way to get over there. Now what I want to do is I want to put another transfer tube on this side here. Let's get over here and like so. Now the track is not going to do this. It's going to let them load up first. This should get us a lot of research really quick. All right. Now we'll take the rail. Not wrong rail. Always the wrong rail. And then same thing. Now it seems to be about one and a half mine carts for each one and this is distance it takes to get there and back. So I'm gonna make sure that I have two miners and three mine carts, and uh, that should work. Should anyways. I'll just get rid of this so we can connect it all back up, and then I gotta add a couple more carts onto the the minecart train, like so, and then three more, two more carts. Where are they? There they go. Okay, that is going. We're gonna. I'm going to take the research for now because we got to get 150,000 before we're going to actually do that. Check the situation here. It's good. We're still only at 1680. And I blame the drones on this. Oh, there's no coal waiting there, so that's not their problem. And there's no iron here, so that's not their problem. But that doesn't mean. an interesting visual glitch. That doesn't mean I can't get more stuff going though. It is moving though. Still nowhere near <laughs> that 30,000 a month. And look at that, we got all that research already but that gold's going in quick. Let's see how much we get out of one trip. Jeez, it's better than the drones. Make sure that it unloads properly. It doesn't. Hmm. Okay. So I gotta move this pole out of the way. I was waiting for that. Okay, we'll reconnect that and then I gotta add a little bit more track, I think. Okay. Let that go and see if it actually empties on the way back. Okay, the next step. I believe. I have no idea. Actually, I forgot. We do have some points. We can actually speed those trucks up. Mm, might be worthwhile. The claws, I'm not too worried about. No, that's just extra claws. Uh, drone speed, we're a ways from that. But at the same time, too, we have research we got to deal with, too. And that's like this one here is 150,000. That gets rid of the drones. 
pretty much all together. Uh, this is water. Uh, we got to get really, oh wow, that's really expensive. All right, uh, remote connectors, that's for inside factories. And yeah, as you can see, wow, 2 million research for that. 5 million for a cargo rocket. Go figure. Yeah, there's not much I'm doing here until I start researching more. Uh, speaking of research, where's that train? It didn't unload all the way. What's going on? Oh, it can only take so much at a time. Hmm. Well, I guess we're just going to have to <laughs> build another research center then. No logical explanation for that, uh, logical answer to that. Okay, let's get this in line, like so. Okay, and then get some more track laid down. To about there. And. Oh, that didn't quite fit. Oh, we missed the train. Oh, well. We'll get it on the next run. There. Now we got two research facilities going with the gold. Give us tons of research. So yeah, let me run this run it run, let, let, let me let this run for a bit and I shall return. Okay, I think we're, I'm gonna try something here. I want to see if I can actually f find a way to feed two mu uh, mining rigs into one uh, crate maker. Yes, that's the word. But I don't know if this is gonna be long enough. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. Actually, I know how this will work. We can use minecarts for it. It's a bit excessive, but it'll do the job. Because uh, the creator does 1 in 3 seconds. These are doing 1 in 11 seconds. So in theory, uh, this should work, actually. I'm going to get this on first. And I have got to get onto this side so I can see what I'm doing. And so everybody else can see what I'm doing, too. Just in case. And this will be the, probably the shortest minecart track you'll ever see. And it's just going to do that. That's it. Okay. And then we do one here. I have one cart. I'm going to get some power to you, and like so. Now let's see what it actually does. Get that off. That's problem is it does like one every, every 11 seconds, and it goes in here, I'll go into the crater, and then hopefully the crater will keep up. In fact, just because, I was thinking about doing this, but we'll do it anyway. Well, I was thinking about doing it, so I'm going to do it. Now the question is, how do I get it to reach? Let's actually pause this. I think I'm going to have to go around the back side, with, just because the the curvature of the track. I always hit that. I see the track. It's like, oh yeah, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a rail. Okay, we'll do that. And then... Guess we can go on this side. Yeah, and that's what we'll do. No, that's not what I'll do. I still have to put the... The thingies. Uh, these ones. Put one there, and yeah, we'll put it on this side. Save travel time. Grab our handy dandy cell tool and actually sell that so we're gonna lay the rail. And it's funny, this game's got really good intro music in the menu, but for some reason, there's no music actually in game. Okay. Now that should work. 
after I give it power. Now what's going on here? Are they both going to get one? Yes, they are. Perfect. No, oh, didn't quite make it. Oh, we can fix that. We can fix that. I'm just going to pause it just to avoid disaster. Like that. Told you I knew what I was doing. Not always the, the right thing that I'm doing. I know what I'm doing, but you know what I mean. And two like so. We'll sell that one. And we will place that. Uh, pick up. Place that there. So in that way, there should always be two packages here waiting for the claws. That's my thoughts, anyways. Okay, it worked that time. I like that. It's a little vacuum. Let's actually get down there and have a look at this thing. Yeah, so apparently these machines can only have 30 of these in existence. So they almost have like their own signature to this specific machine. Perfect. So that's going to keep these running. Well, it's supposed to. No, there it is. Once it gets there, the conveyor is a little long. But that is good. Uh, trucks are still somewhat rolling. Got another truck leaving empty for some reason. It's like they're driving to the sea for no reason. Come to pick up. There's nowhere to pick up. 1800 that's gonna be tough getting up to that 30,000 model in the foreground I want to get the truck upgrades to actually see how our research facilities are doing you think there would be more than that by now you can't actually claim research until there's 20 research points and each research point it varies depending on the ore that or the resource that you're researching. Oh, that's why you're not picking up there. See, it always helps to pit and go watch your vehicles. Not that it matters because uh, the research facilities are kind of maxed out. Right, you can take three. Four, which is about what's there. Once you get sucked up in there, uh, I'm actually enjoying this. I'll go ahead and claim that. Give us a hundred grand now. Now we could increase the truck frequency, and I think that might be a smart thing to do. Because I can't get the upgrade I want until we get up to 4000 a month. And that's not happening yet. So we're going to do that. Get this 50 grand. And... I think we should be okay on that. And uh, I know we're running a little long on this one. So I think we'll call this one here. And then uh, probably next episode. I'm thinking about actually getting another... Uh, Another road in here. Get another road coming down this side here with possibly three or more stops. And then we'll look at what we have on this side of the map that we can start producing. We do have some, we can start meddling with some oil. We got some more iron over there or coal or whatever that is. And a whole bunch of stuff. But anyways, I uh, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. It's uh starting to get a along quite good. We got a fair amount of money we made. I might actually look at building a massive factory maybe even have like a double road going around or something so at least it's easy to load and unload but anyways i'll see you in the next one later